All right, well, it's the first couple days of uh, cold weather after Hurricane Michael left. And uh, we came down to Flat Swamp to do some, uh, you know, multi-species fishing. I threw in a little curly tail, and the very first thing that happens is I catch a, uh, a bass, a little largy, on the first cast over there by those submerged rocks. Uh, wasn't expecting that. I was just messing around before I turned the camera on, and that's, that's what I get for not having the camera rolling. He jumped real high out of the water, too, and everything. But, uh, hey, fish is a fish whether you get it on camera or not, right? <laughs> All right, well, that was exciting. Uh, I'm going to put them back here, and uh, hopefully there'll be, there'll be more stuff like that today. All right, so we're just gonna release this little guy real quick. I got a nice deep patch right next to me where I can just lob him away. There he goes. All right, so uh, lesson learned. Uh, I should have known better. Realistic Fishing told me to always keep the camera rolling. And uh, that's why, because you might just be screwing around and throw out there and do something kind of amazing right on your first cast and uh, if you do that you won't be ready for it so I'm we're gonna see if I can have any other luck like that it does seem like uh, like there's kind of an energetic bite on today uh, the weather is finally cooling down and starting to actually feel like fall already, already going down huh yeah, yeah. let's see It looks like we came came to the right place. Nice oh yeah, gill. boy, they're nice get, they're getting a real, real pink kind of breast there, aren't they? Yeah, he is, definitely. Let's pull his hook out and we'll show him off for the camera. Yeah, let me reel in here. Reeling in's kind of tricky through all that muck. Look how pretty they are. Yeah. Oh, that's really nice. Really, really, really like. Yeah, they're apricot get apricot colored breasts. Yeah, they, exactly. I was I was gonna say it's it is like an apricot. It's a really pretty color. I like that. Nice fish. Good bluegill. Yeah, good job. It's been a while since we pan fished on this channel, actually. It really has. It's been quite a while. Where they always are. I think there's a huge rock under there, under the water, and that's why they're always schooled up there. Because it actually gets surprisingly deep, and then there's just like this big rock. Oh, I'm on something. <laughs> Whoa, he's fighting. Oh, and he came off. He came off. Oh, man. Oh, I should have pulled harder or something. You Damn didn't it. Expect to be catching another bass. I did not expect that at all. He was right up here on the bank. It's probably uh, one of those ones we were watching on video in the, uh, the summertime. I bet it was. Damn. Oh, well, I, I, think the, I think you guys probably got a pretty good look at him. That's what I get for not pulling harder. I mean, that's the second one that I've accidentally gotten on in, in like how many minutes? In like two minutes? Yeah. So this might be a... I probably should have brought my bad shit down here, but this will do. I can try, but I don't think he'll bite again. Nah, he's done got scared. There might be another one, though. Yeah, probably right up kind of close in. I'm keep trying around here. I gotta say, that... uh it, no other fish has really done it, but that uh, that roll, jump, thrash thing that bass do. It's really effective. I, I wonder how many how many years it's taken them to develop that methodology, because it is super effective at uh, getting off all kinds of different hooks. I mean, honestly, you think about like you know how long did it take the behavior of just thrashing on the shoreline to evolve, because. That's surprisingly effective at getting a fish back to water. <laughs> Not a bad gill. Yeah. Very pretty colored. Mm-hmm. Once again, they got that uh, that nice apricot colored uh, breast coming in. Very pretty. It's funny, but uh, in the season of pumpkin spices, fish almost uh, almost take on a pumpkiny color. They do. Yeah, you were reeling it 
Did you just get another strike? No. Oh. You got him? I got something. I got a hook set that harder. There we go. Make sure that hook's through there. What do we got? What do we got? That's him. Ha. Nice bass. Nice bass indeed. All right, this is turning out to be a great day. Heck yeah, that's a good sized bass. Hold still. About the same size as the uh, the first one. Little, just slightly bigger. Oh God, sometimes trying to do things while you're here. All right, hey buddy. All right, well here we go. Here's a nice another uh, another nice little largemouth. I can't tell, but this might be the same exact one I already caught. I can't tell if he's got a hole through his nose or not, but uh, hey, either way, I'm ecstatic to catch a fish on camera anytime. So there we go, nice little largey. Now we started out uh, trying to do some multi-species fishing, but this is quickly becoming bass fishing. <laughs> They're biting worms and they're biting uh, crappy lures. So yeah, let me, uh, that's a good enough look. Let me put this guy back and I'll show you guys what I'm using. He's got some really pretty colors. Doesn't he? That's yeah, nice yeah, he's a very pretty fish. All the fish here have pretty nice colors. All right, let's get him back in the water so he can go about his bass business. Yep. All right, so this is what I've caught, uh, well, what, I, what I've gotten two bass to bite and caught two, or three bass to bite, and, god damn, I can't talk. What I've gotten three bass to bite today so far is just this curly tail, um, crappy lure here. And uh, I've been favoring the curly tails a lot lately because of the curly tail, and it's got this this nice, you know, minnowy action to it. And yeah, just plain jig head, offset uh, hook, um, green, blue, and black. It's, uh, wasn't it called a triple threat? Uh-huh, triple threat. Yeah, because of three colors. Yeah. This is effectively the same thing just in, like, curly tail form yeah. with a bug body. Yeah. Uh-oh. That was bad. Let's see if I can get up over both of these branches. I got one. Now I gotta get this. Uh, nope. Just tangled right up in it. I'll try. Probably embedded itself in the wood though. Oh, this is gonna be right in my face. Yeah, I got it all right. Got it to break and fall. Oh, well. Respool. Damn. Missed one. Something bit at it. Oh, <laughs> right in front of me. Oh, what are you? What are you? A bass. Well, these bass sure are pretty here. They're also very energetic. Uh oh. No, no, no. Jesus. Almost lost him. Crash all you want now, I got you. Man. All right. There's a nice, uh, another nice little largy that I got standing right in front of me. I knew there had to be one right up there on the bank, but I had to see. <laughs> now this has turned into a good day, definitely. Hey, babe. Oh, nice. Another largy. Nice yeah. Thank you. 
All right, so there we go. We're still catching them on the, the same thing. Uh, it's not like constant or anything, but uh, it is interesting that they're all feeding up this voraciously. And he was standing right in front of me, even though I was stomping around and making a bunch of racket, and all I had to do was put some food in front of him. Didn't see him till he bit, though. <laughs> nice. All right, back to your home. Fish. Another video with multiple bass catches. I'll take it. I'll take that anytime. <laughs>